Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about basically a plugin. So this is a plugin with the help of which you can create a discussion forum on your website with super easy steps. I will guide you what uh, you have to do to create a forum looking website for yourself on your website. So basically why do you need a forum or a question answer section where you can interact with your active customers or the people who are coming on your website. So uh, let's consider that you have a big website and there are a lot of uh, things that are confusing. So whenever somebody comes to your website, they may ask directly question on the question hub or the question forum so that easily anybody can answer even the admin or any other visitor who visits your website can answer that particular question so that his or her answer would be resolved within couple of minutes or days. That's easy, right? So I personally suggest rather than having a contact form to directly contact to you is it's great to have a customer or custom forum section where people can interact with each other. Okay, so let me show you we will use this plugin in this video to demonstrate how you can generate or create your own forum. As you can see, it has over 2000 sales, which is a great deal, right? And if I click on the sales page live preview, then it will redirect you to the original author's website which will be the sales page of this particular plugin. Let me, as you can see, this is the live demo, right? So if you install the plugin, you will get something similar kind of interface where you can create uh, answers. You will get, uh, you will get to know what are the answers if you click there. This is the question and here you need to log in and then you will be able to answer or you can open the question so that anybody can answer. There is no issues in that, right? So. This is something similar to like Quora if I'm not wrong. Okay, so I hope you get a rough idea what I'm talking about and what we are going to do in today's video, which is super simple. So first of all, you need to buy this plugin. Uh, you can always get it from here. Okay, it will cost you around $29, which is, uh, which is good. Okay, no issues in that. So once you have downloaded the file on your system, our next step is to install this particular plugin on our WordPress website. So for this video purpose, I will use my domain, which is like tutorial.srmehranclub.com. So basically this is a very fresh uh, WordPress installed on my domain, right? So first of all, you need to log into your dashboard. If you don't know how to log into your dashboard, it's pretty simple. You just have to type WP admin after your URL and it will be redirected to your dashboard. Okay. There is a cache. If you're logging in for the first time, it will ask you for the username and password, uh, which is necessary. And I'm pretty sure you have entered the username and password while you were installing WordPress on your cPanel. Okay, so once you're logged in, you will see some kind of similar interface. Let it load and I will tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the dashboard and once you're logged in, you will see something similar like this. Okay, on the left hand side, you will see multiple setting options. Uh, let me give you a quick guide what exactly they are. With the help of post, se post section, you will be able to create a new post, new article, blog section. Under the media section, you will be able to add media like photos, images, uh, videos, and GIF file and all that. Okay, and under the pages section, you will be able to create multiple pages, right? Home page, about page, customer care page, or whatever page you like. Under the comment section, uh, if, if somebody, if some visitor comes to your article and he wants to comment on your article, then the comment will come directly here. Then you can approve or disapprove the comment, right? Under the appearance section, you will find theme, widget, menu. You can basically play around with the theme. The theme is the outlook of your website, okay? Under the plugin section, you will be able to add some kind of new plugins or delete the plugin. Basically, plugins deal with the functionality of the website. With the help of plugin, you will be able to extend the functionality, okay? Under the user section, you will be able to create new users with the help of new user. You can assign them different role. Like if you want uh, multiple admins on your website, you can do that. No issues in that. Under the tool section, you will be able to find import tool, export tool. Uh, you can check your site health and reset uh, the whole world WordPress website. Okay. Under the setting section, you will be able to see general setting, reading setting, writing setting, discussion setting. Basically discussion setting is uh, where you can enable or disable the comment section, right? 
or and the uh, permalink setting let me set up the permalink then you will get a rough idea what i'm talking about permalink is basically the structure of a url it is always good good to select this uh, this setting post name after the url th there will be the sample post name and this is good for us here so whenever you install a fr uh, fresh website it's always recommended uh, to select this uh, structure of permalink okay so now we have to upload our uh, theme i mean plugin okay you need to click here add new then here you can see by default wordpress has provided us n number of free theme if you come here and search uh, about forum uh, forum then you will also get some kind of free plugin but the thing is as you can see with the help of this plugin this plugin you will be able to create some kind of free forum but the thing is free plugin always don't give you the best result out there because free plugins are meant to be uh, limited right because under the free plugin if you install the free plugin then the main feature of that plugin will be hidden inside their own premium plugin so it's always recommended to in, uh, directly go and go for a premium plugin if you have a little bit of budget to install in a very initial stage for example if you took this a uh, free uh, yoast seo then the main feature of this yoast seo is keyword and under the uh, premium version of this particular plugin th there are uh, some extended version with the help of which you will be able to add five seo keywords which is a great deal right so it's always uh, so my personal recommended uh, recommendation is always go for a uh, premium theme if you have a little bit of budget uh, in the initial stage okay so we have to upload the plugin it's uh, here if i'm not wrong click on upload and click on install now so basically uploading uh, takes some time like couple of second 10 to 5 seconds let's wait for it as you can see plugin has been uploaded successfully it's time to activate it click on activate and our plugin has been activated on on the and now on the left hand side you will see there is a new section telling us question if you click on questions then you will see how many questions has been created on your website let's create a new question uh, how to rank your website okay this is a new question i will publish it and now let's see how it looks on our website if i go here this is the question url and as you can see here is our question listed and this is not looking good let me change a theme for you then you will get a rough idea how it is looking right now i will activate the astra uh, astra is activated and i will now refresh okay as you can see this is the question uh, how to rank your website and this is telling who has published this question admin staff one minute ago question type and here anybody can comment and uh, comment here and give answers to your question and they can upvote or devote the answer so with the help of upvote and devote your question will rank higher on the question board right if i come here on this page which has been automatically created by the plugin as you can see there are multiple questions uh, ranked here I hope you get my point if you create more question then here will be added more question if i come here and ask more question uh, how to get free theme or something like that okay if you come here and click and publish this then this question will be added to this page right how to get free themes okay as you, uh, you get a rough idea what i'm talking about and if you go on a private window or a private window then you will see that anybody you don't need to sign in to just a uh, comment on any of this question if i come here i can literally comment okay you need to register first you you can register there is no there is no limit for that okay you just need to register and the registration totally depends upon some kind of plugin you need to install some kind of plugin so that you will be able to register ultimate uh, membership plugin is for registration if i'm not wrong so you can always uh, make this question available for everybody from the back end so that there is no registration required so i hope you really get my point how you can create the whole uh, forum kind of thing on your website with super easy steps and i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one